Hey guys, it's Brittany and today I'm coming to you guys with another quick wig review. Today's wig review is brought to you by ElevateStyles.com and the wig that they sent me is Brown Sugar's BS223 in the color Raisin and the color looks like a 99J and this is what BS223 looks like on the model. That's what she looks like. So it comes with a middle part. This wig is about 14 inches long and I'm six feet tall. So here is the front. Here is the left side. There's the left side. It's the right side. And all the hair to the back. It's a wig with a lot of density. Now something I don't like about the wig is how it frames the face in the front. I feel like it needs more layers, but that's an easy fix. The texture is a yakky texture. It doesn't have any crinkle hairs in it. If you don't like that with your yakky textured wigs, this one doesn't have that. It's a very everyday kind of look. Now, this has soft lace, so it is gonna lift on you. So I would suggest that you put got to be glued underneath your parting area and then let it dry a little bit and then you know, pressure your lace into that um, hair gel so it'll stay and not lift. Because if you look closely, it's you can see the line of demarcation, but um, it's not too bad. Uh, I think you're gonna need some heat at the top of your wig because I I do feel like it's a little bit bulky there. And as you can see on the model, they have it as a middle part. So I'm gonna try and shift it to the middle. Uh, to the side to see what that looks like. The luster of this wig is very natural because of the texture um, and I haven't gotten too much shedding. I've gotten a few strands here and there. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and see what it looks like. Shift it to the side. So I'm gonna go put on my glasses. And the cap size on this big <laughs> The cap size on this wig is really, really big. Like, this is a huge cap. Um, so I had to adjust the straps almost to, almost to the tightest settings within, within the cap. All right, so this is what uh, BS223 looks like as a right side part. And the part in the space is straight, so I feel like you can move it to either the right side or the left side. I'll try it on the left side as well. I think it looks pretty nice. I feel like I would need to, you know, blend my edges and everything and blend the part, but all I did was just shift it. And I think it looks nice this way. Um, again, this, this wig is very, very full. So I do feel like some layers in the front are gonna need to be probably cut a little bit, but it's so much hair, it creates like a nice swoop action if you don't wear it as a middle part. So that is really nice. Oh, it looks so much better as a side part. I like it a lot more this way. And it's so nice and full. So if you don't like it as the middle part, then definitely try it as a side part. All right, so I'm gonna just shift it to the left side just to see if it's gonna work for the people who prefer their parts on the left side. All right, so the wig does work on the right side, left side, and in the middle. Um, so overall, I do think this is a pretty nice wig. It has a really nice texture, density, and luster. And the style is just a very, you know, simple everyday style that can be dressed up or it can just be worn every day. I will say, I do feel like it's a little bit too thick though. It's, it's just a little bit too full. But I feel like if you put a little bit of heat on the top and then maybe add a little bit of layers, in this wig it'll it'll work a little bit better because it's just a little bit too full for me but overall i think it's a pretty nice wig i have the link to this uh wig in the description box where you guys can purchase it um i want to thank elevate styles for sending me this wig to review for you guys and i want to thank you guys for supporting my channel and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys